not, but I uh, guess we'll soon, soon see. Um, I'm going to start streaming uh, games from the BB from my BBS, and the uh, first thing I'm going to show you is uh, actually show you the BBS uh, logging into it. Uh, so I'm gonna, and I'm also trying out this new uh, OBS Studio software, so we'll see how well this works as well. Um, oh crap! <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, there's the uh, the uh, the uh, terminal software that I use. It's um, called Sync Term. It's uh, really good. It helps. Uh, has a lot of nice features. Uh, of course, we're going to go into my BBS, which is Legends of Yesteryear. Uh, but, uh, let me show you here. Uh, connect to it. You need to, uh, no, you wouldn't put the ad. Put put the this IP address. That won't work for you. You put uh, loy l o y b b s dot net, and that uh, TCP port right there. And that's how you would uh, get into it. Uh, I have to. Comcast doesn't allow me to come back and uh, put in my domain name and pick up back here, so I have to use internal IP addressing to get around in here. So, but first thing we do, you log into the BBS. Look back, the things are gaining on you. Run, run! Uh, so the main menu, you would then select the uh, doors games menu, but of course you can also go through uh, messages, send email, or do file transfers, which I'm slowly starting to increase to the number of files in the file section. Uh, right now there's a lot of uh, sound effects and wave files that are available, but it's D for doors. Uh, this is the current door menuing system, which is probably going to be changing here soon. But it's right now it's at two pages: page one, page two, and I'm just gonna plus uh, trade wars. There's three different trade wars games that are currently available: a beginner's game, which is a small universe; a large universe game; and then trade wars advanced, which has got a lot of added features and stuff in there that aren't available in regular trade wars games. But we're going to start off with Legends of the Red Legend of the Red Dragon, which is a very popular, or was a very popular uh, BBS game back in the day. Uh, a lot of in-game modules uh, that are available for it, which I've got a few of them installed. So, now uh, load up, load up, loading, loading, loading. Okay, there's the start screen. Legend of the Red Dragon. Press any key. There we go. Uh, so, gonna enter. Anybody still in here? Yeah, there's some folks still in here that have been playing. Uh, let's see. I, I'm currently in here as Chalupi. Um, so, let's see. Thief, Mage, D, Turn. I think that's. Well, I don't think. I don't know. I thought that was a warrior. But, uh, okay. Enter the realm. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. And this is this game is multiplayer, so more uh, I can have up to ten people logged into well, technically eleven people logged into my BBS at the same time, and they can actually all be in here playing at once. Uh, in which case, you can um, go through and you can actually fight and communicate with other players. So, uh, okay, D Death Knight, yes, that's the warrior. So, I am a Death Knight. Uh, so wake up early, strap on my dagger. Okay, I need, definitely need to get a better weapon. I've only got a dagger at the moment. So, uh, I've got 133 experience. I'm only level 1 because I haven't played all that much in here. Uh, got 20 hit points. I could fight 3 players uh, today. I, can have I have 15 forest fights available. Uh, I have no gold in my hand, but I've got uh, a little over 3,000 gold in the bank. Uh, I'm carrying, currently carrying a dagger, wearing a coat, my charm is 4. Charm can be very important in this game because it allows you to uh, event to do things with Violet who is the bar wench. So, uh, attack strength 15, defense 1. I definitely need to do something to work on my defensive strength. I've got 4 gems which can be traded for other various things. Uh, so, uh, Several fire 
missing cattle today. Oh, okay. Probably a dragon. No big get to him later. He's the final the dragon is the final boss in the game. So I'm gonna continue. This is the your uh, main menu in the town square. Uh, forest is where you go to fight monsters and stuff, uh, fight other players. You got the weapons shop, the armor shop, the healer's hut, the inn, which is a highly advised, recommended when you go to log out. Don't just log out of the game. Go and stay in the inn because otherwise you're out on the streets where other players can find you and kill you. If you're in the inn, you're generally uh, safe. Uh, Turgan's warrior training. Once you have enough experience, you can go in there, fight Turgan and or Turgon, and uh, that's how you level up. Until you can until you can defeat him, you don't level up. Uh, the bank uh, send mail in there. Conjugality list is uh, where people have never gotten married in the game. Uh, other places, those are your in the in game modules in here. Uh, Right now we've got Aladdin's Bar, uh, the Axe Handler's Arena, Lord Cavern, the Adoption Market where you can adopt uh, orphans, uh, Outlander's Tavern, Across the Tracks, and City of the Sun, so City of the Sun God. Uh, and those are all little side adventure stuff that you can do. But we're going to go straight into a forest battle here. And I'm going to show you something here. Heading into the forest, we can hear the voice of angels singing. Okay, and oh, I found a gem. Nice. Okay, I'm in the forest. Stands before you, a giant maw of gloomy darkness, ever beckoning. And let's go look for something to kill. I encounter Bran the Warrior. Skill allows me to get the first strike. Woohoo! Uh, I've got 20 hit points. He has 15. I'm just going to attack. And. Wow, he hit me, took me for half of my hit points. Ouch. Big ouch. Attack again. And he killed me. Oh my god. <laughs> that has been a very long time since anything like that has happened. Uh, oh no, I killed him. Okay. That's, a, that, that's better. <laughs> okay, yeah. Got 234 points and 10 experience. Now, something, well first of all, let's Go to healer, hit H for healing. Heal all possible. To, uh, get healed 10 hit points. I feel much better. Now, something that um, it's not on the menu there, but it's a, a hidden, un, uh, undocumented command there. Uh, and that is, I think, if I remember correctly, B. Yeah, hit B. And you throw your gold pouch up into the air. A vulture grabs it in midair, and it's taken straight to the bank. So I'm no longer carrying gold around that I can lose and if I die or encounter somebody else and they attack me, then they can take my gold from me. So that's that's a, that's a nice little hidden uh, undocumented feature there. Uh, so let's continue on, look for something to kill. Ugly old hag. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give her a gem. Hey, it's one strange thing. You feel better. Well, that was kind of pointless. Oh, it gave me one extra hit point. So instead of 20, I now have 21. Woohoo! Okay, look. Uh, let's go allow you to get the first strike. Attack. Okay. She didn't do any damage to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and send that gold to the bank. Look. Encountered a wild boar. Attack. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it showing on you? Oh, he got first first attack. Okay, um, he surprised me, so got first attack. Okay. And then, uh, then he got five. Okay. Look. Attack. Rude boy. Smack. Smack that rude boy down. Look. Oh, extra special event. Uh, Sound of many tiny voices squealing in delight. Seems you've come across a group of fairies bathing. Mm. Mm. The small things encircle you. A small wet female bangs your shin. How dare you spy on us humans? You can't help but smile. The defiance in her silvery voice is truly a sight. You think to yourself. Further contemplation is interrupted by another sharpfully painful prod. 
ask for a blessing, or try to catch one to show your friends. It's not always a good idea to try and catch them. It's always usually better to ask for a blessing. Very well, but we're still angry at you. I got a companion for my travels. Ooh, okay. A uh, shiny black stallion surfaces its head in the lake. Great. That means I have more, uh, more fights. Encountered a small bear. Attack. Look. Attack. And just keep doing this. Uh, keep going like this until you've used up all your attacks. Be sure don't let your hit points get down too low or you will be sorry. Uh, and then as you can see right there, fight. That this shows your total number of fights that you have available left uh, today. How much gold you currently have on you and how many gems. Gems you cannot bank, unfortunately. But gold, like I said, hit B. Gold is now in the bank. So look. Got another gem. Nice. Look. Right, a beautiful garden inside to take a little rest. You drink from the brook and smell the flowers. You're refreshed and get one more forest fight for the day. Nice. Notice the flowers seem to be arranged. Ooh. Uh, okay. And this is where you can leave um, little messages and stuff to other players. Uh, yeah. I love flowers and I love to kiss. Yes, I'm glad humans can't read our flowers. And I said, you see, I, I said, guess what, you dumb fairies? <laughs> so, right now, I'm not going to do anything or post anything else there. Look, that's an old man. You take the old man, yes. And that's that's how you one of the ways that you can get your charm to increase with by helping the old man. Attack. Wow, your cliff boots are ahead, you kill her. Mm. Killed evil wretch. have enough gold. I'm hoping that I will have enough uh, when I get done here to be able to go and either buy a better weapon or buy better armor. One of the two. Um, I thought there was a way to look at my stats in here. I guess not. Ooh, more gold. Thank that bitch. <laughs> Look. Attack. powerful move. You swing your dagger as hard as you can, intending to drive it into the fiend's side. Instead, he ducks and your blade slides right into the top part of his skull. He stares at you in horror. The creature's warm brain slides smoothly from the cloven skull and lands with a soft plop on your shoe. You kick it away, disgusted. You hit the small bear for 30 damage. After a swift battle, you stand holding the bear's heart. You found a gem. Got hit with a fingernail. Four damage. Attack. Attack. Okay. Attack. Heal all possible. And take the horse. And your horse deeper into the woods. Okay, for us, you see smoke coming from a bright chimney. 
and this is the Dark Cloak Tavern. Uh, uh, it's just an interesting place. Can be at times. Okay, here we go. My stats. You can gamble in here. It's a, mm, I got five thousand in the bank. I don't know if I can go get me a better weapon or armor or not. someone else's description, uh, edit my uh, my description, or return. I don't want to edit or change my description, so return, uh, and return to town. Alright, let's see. Weapons. Uh, let's see. Buy weapons. Yes, I can upgrade to a short sword. Check. Uh, return to town. Armor. Uh, I'm gonna get a coat. Okay, I can get it. Upgrade to a heavy coat, which means first I have to. Before you can buy anything, you have to sell. So sell that. And buy a heavy coat. thousand gold so I am going to get my uh, short sword what not strong enough to carry the short sword what uh Question the master, attack the master, visit the Hall of Fame, or return to town. Uh, need to first question the master. Uh, they're getting bigger than mine. Okay, so that's a good thing. Uh, so now we're going to try attacking him. Attack, attack. Oh, crap. Oh, good, I just leveled up. Sweet! Ten hit points, five strength, and two defense points. So, I'm still not, don't have enough strength points for a short, for that short sword. Damn it. Okay, two more lessons to also raise your death knight uses per day. So, class skill is raised by one. So, I'm now level two. Let's see my stats. Oh, no, no, that's either. Okay. No, return. Uh my stats. Experience 199, level 2. My hit points are now up 30, up to 31. Uh, da -da 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 -da, in hand, attack strength 20, defense 5. I guess I was telling you about uh, Violet in the, the, uh, in the uh, bar winch. We'll go to the inn. Converse with the patrons. Flirt with Violet. Talk to the bartender. Here's Seth Abel, the bard. Make announcements. Check daily news. Read your stats or get a room for the night, which is highly advisable. Um, now I think that that's 100 gold. Oh, 800 gold for a room for the night. Okay. No, not 
right now. Uh, let's flirt. You can wink. Never mind. Peck her lips. Kiss her hands. Sit her on your lap. Grab her backside. Carry her upstairs. Or marry her. You have to have a very high charm level to marry her. Uh, just, just wink. Making progress. Receive ten, receive ten experience points for winking at her. You can only do one thing to her a day. So I can't sit here and wink at her, then kiss her, and yeah, it, only do one a day. So let's see. I need to return bank deposit everything. Everything now withdraw eight hundred. Return to town. Go to the inn. And I'm going to get a room, 800 gold, this is what I'm currently ha carrying, yes, and that's how you get out of the game, and I'm safe from attack by other players. Uh, so, and then quit. Now, if I want to I go to the message menu, uh, where you read messages and post messages to up various groups. Uh, change message, change group, oops. In general discussions area, there's five five message areas there. Then, um, and, and as you can see, I see I am part of several net uh, networks. There's two Fidonet ones right there. Uh, change topic. Uh, discuss game discussions is about the discussion areas for the various door games that are on the system. Entertainment, the sysop areas where most people, where when if you log in, you wouldn't have access to those. Uh, Cybernet is another uh, small network of CBSs. SFNet is the science fiction and fantasy network that I run. DixieNet is another network of, of uh, southern, mostly southern uh, CBSs here in Dixie. So uh, we'll go to both the change topic and go to the game discussions. Some of these are ne networks with FidoNet. But most of them are, uh, you see the different various games that are available on the BBS as well as other ones, classic games like Doom. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And Door Game Requests is where if there's a particular door game that you used to enjoy that I don't have, you can post in there and request it, and I will try and find it and see if I, get, see if I can get it to work and get it uh, working on the BBS. Uh, but at uh, most, okay. Just All right. Most generally, the best thing to do when you go to the message menu is just hit N for read any new messages that have come in on all the networks and message boards since the last time you were online. Uh, so N. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's see, a couple of new messages here. Somebody mistyped the uh, title, the uh, subject line on the, the first original message and put Star Trek Rogue One instead of Star Wars. So I poked fun at him that I'm interested in this Star Trek Rogue One that is in the subject line. Could someone please tell me about this one as I have yet to hear about it? it says, uh, yes, it's about the Borg Cube who shows up to assimilate the Death Star and the systems are incompatible, but not incompatible enough to have a baby pyramid shaped ship that they named Rogue One. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> uh, yeah, you can see that's like right there at the top it says 198 of 202. That's how many messages are in the system and everything. <laughs> you forget to mention the Cybermen that came out of the poor cube. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> okay. And that one, that one there, you can see that originated uh, from War Ensemble. 
BBS in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, let's see. Didn't the Vorlons intercede in that? I thought I saw a shadow vessel of the port side of BS-9. If I recall directly, it's before the Cybermen showed up to sue the Borg for copyright infringement and the TARDIS materialized to intercede. Darn, we could write one heck of a MST3K episode. <laughs> <coughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see, a couple years ago there was a Star Trek TNG Doctor Who crossover comic book. Uh, that was pretty entertaining. It involved the Borg teaming up with the Cybermen. Okay, that does seem interesting. I threw a whole bunch of money into the MST3K Kickstarter. I hope the scripts are done by now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we've started a new message thread here on MST3K. Pretty much that's BBSing in a nutshell. Uh, oh, uh, if you want to go to the file section, uh, you've got the different air files there, which there are different topics here as well. Um, the audio, I've got wave files. As you can see, I've got 1,741 different wave files in there, and 169 different MIDI files. I will soon be adding uh, Amiga Music modules and Screen Tracker 3 modules as well. So, like I said, now that I've got a bigger hard drive and a faster computer, I'm definitely going to be starting to increase all of that. So, uh, but that's it. And G, goodbye. Confirm log off. Yes. I advertised a few other BBSs there. And that's it. That's old school BBSing and old school gaming. So. Uh, give me a call, uh, check me out, uh, log into the BBS, new users get autom automatically get instant access to all the games, so go ahead and give it a call, get your terminal program, like I said, I like SyncTerm, uh, which is a completely freeware game, uh, freeware terminal program, uh, so gra grab that and give me a call, like I said, the uh, address is loybbs.net. And the port number is 23322. And log in and have fun. So we will. And so that is that. And I will see you all on the next one when I do the next game. Have fun. Peace.